Welcome back, this is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos, and today I'm going to be showing you how I made my Bubbly Witches Brew Travel Tumbler. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more tutorials, tips, vlogs, products I have coming your way. So let's get to this. I already have a base all prepped. All I did was do the epoxy method with my glitter uh, black diamond. <laughs> That's available in my shop. And then I added another coat of epoxy to the top of it to make it nice and smooth. I'm gonna be using this E6000 that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. I like to use the small tubes because, you know, I don't, I don't need a lot, so I don't want it to all go bad or anything if I don't use it right away. I also purchased some of these half pearls from Michaels. I'm going to show you right here they're just little half pearls and they're perfect for what we want to do today i also have a jewel picker that i showed you guys earlier i also purchased that from michael's as well i'll make sure to put everything i use today into the description below i'm just going to prep my area really quick and then we'll get to gluing those pearls on the first thing i want to do is i'm going to take my nifty little tray i'm just going to line some pearls up just so that way it's easier to get to and I'm gonna use all different sizes. I didn't use too many of those really big ones. I just, I use mostly the smaller ones because those big ones, they were kind of big and I don't like too big a stuff coming off my tumblers. So I'm gonna take my glue. I'm gonna keep it all up on the edge and I'm not adding too many of these. This is basically just an outline of where I want to put my drips when we go to apply the epoxy. So I'm just gonna do some areas where I know I would like my epoxy to go and just kind of fill that in around the entire uh, top of that tumbler there. You also don't want the pearls to be right up on the rim so that way when you go to put the epoxy on it's able to go up and around and fully en encapsulate your pearls whenever we go to do that. As you can see, I'm just putting the glue right onto the tumbler and the areas where I want the pearls to go, and then just placing the pearls right on top. Again, these are just outlines, so I'm just gonna continue to kind of go around my tumbler. Oh, that one dropped. <laughs> you didn't see that. <laughs> I'm gonna continue to go around my tumbler, just placing these pearls randomly in spots where I want to put the epoxy, and then we'll be ready to apply the epoxy. You may also notice that I'm kind of keeping them bunched together so that way it looks even more like bubbles once once we put everything on. You want to keep them bunched together just almost not quite overlapping because you can't overlap them yet but when we apply the epoxy then we can start to overlap them and it'll start to look even more like a bubbly brew coming out of the top of the cup. Now that I'm happy with the way that looks, I'm just gonna set it off to the side and let that dry for about an hour or two. You wanna make sure those pearls are nice and glued down before you apply your epoxy. Once that has been dried for about an hour or two, I come through and I just kind of press with my finger and anything that is loose, I re-glue, but everything was nice and glued down so I'm ready to move on to my next step. I poured up some A and B into a cup here. I like to use Illumilite's Amazing Clear Cast. I also, oops, <laughs> this is the messy part, guys. <laughs> I also like to use their mica powder. It's a pearlescent powder that they have, but you can use any type of pearlescent powder you have on hand. I'm just gonna stir that up really well, and then I'm going to set a timer for about 30 to 40 minutes. In about 30 minutes, I'll check it, and if it's still not as thick as I want it, then I'll let it go for about 10 minutes longer. The key is just to have it a very thick consistency, so that way when we go to apply it around those pearls, it'll kind of stay in place while you, and, and it'll give you time to work with it. Now that it's nice and thick, you can see it almost makes ribbons in the epoxy there. I'm gonna take uh, my little spatula thing here. <laughs> so technical with my terms. <laughs> And I'm just going to kind of weave it in and out of my pearls and just kind of, and then in fact, I just kind of took the cup and just went ahead and put a whole stripe of it around the top and then just kind of worked from there, almost exactly like how you would do a drip. Again, doing any type of drip it, it can be pretty messy. <laughs> 
So I just make sure that I'm all gloved up. I make sure that my table is kind of covered so I don't get too much on my table. And then I'm just going to come through and just keep on adding that epoxy until I get it about the way that I want it. And then I'm going to go place it on my turner after that and we'll kind of finish it up on the turner. Now, don't get freaked out if it seems like, oh my gosh, I'm all I'm doing is just making a big mess. It's not a big deal because we're going to come through with even more pearls and you can cover up any areas that you just really don't like. So the key here is just to get it onto your tumbler, get those drips going, and then from there, we'll, we'll tidy it up and we'll make it look nice once we put it onto the turner. So here it is right now. It's not exactly the way I want, but like I said, here we go. Now we're going to make it nice and pretty and bubbly. The first thing I'm going to do is just put a little bit more epoxy around my rim. Now it doesn't, it, it's going to lay flat, it's going to level out, so we're just going to kind of thicken it up just a little bit more. And I'm going to take my blow dryer and kind of just warm it so that way it continues to lay even flatter for me. And then we will start adding our pearls on. Now from here, I'm gonna take my little uh, jewel picker thing. <laughs> I'm gonna take my pearls and I'm just going to continue to stack these pearls all around my white epoxy on my tumbler. Now you just wanna make sure that they're nice and pressed in there. You can even kind of stack them a little bit around the, the bigger pieces. You just wanna make sure you keep them grouped together. And now is the time that you can actually kind of bring it more up to that rim so that way it gives it just a little bit more dimension. Now is the time that you can also just kind of jazz up any areas that you just really didn't like. So you can just kind of fill it in with those pearls and just, just make it look even more like how you'd like it to look. There is no right or wrong here, guys. If you want to add a lot of pearls, go ahead. If you don't want to add too many pearls, it is completely up to you. These are just ideas that I'm giving you that you could do for anything you'd like. I also thought this idea would be neat for a mermaid cup because it almost looks like um, water bubbly water you could make it look like that or I thought of a bathtub I don't know what you know you'd do with that but <laughs> those are the things that I thought of it almost just looks like soap suds to begin with and then once we add the paint it really starts to come alive with the the concept that we're after here okay I think I'm about all done with layering up my pearls here now I'm just going to let it continue to turn on my turner for about eight hours. You want it to be nice and dry before you start applying any type of paints to it. Okay, that epoxy is nice and cured. And I'm just going to kind of show you guys up close what it looks like before we paint it. It looks pretty cool. I, I like it. I hope you guys do too. <laughs> so I found uh, my image on Etsy. It's just an apothecary a label but you guys could use any type of thing you want this these are just like i said ideas for you guys i'm just gonna go ahead and put my label on really quick here and then i'm gonna move on to painting the bubbly brew on the top okay so look at here i bought new brushes wow i'm really advancing guys <laughs> Somehow I bought new brushes. All right, so I have my uh, alcohol inks here. Um, I'll make sure to put her description in the link below. These are Christy Taylor inks. Um, I don't know which ones I'm gonna use. I kind of use just like a hodgepodge of all kinds of different colors. I have green. I think I used um, a yellow and I used a purple. So I'm just gonna put those on my plate there. These are just the colors I'm using. You guys could paint these any colors you'd like. In my little dish there, I just have some rubbing alcohol to go along with my alcohol inks. <laughs> and I'm just gonna take my, my colors and I'm just gonna dab around those pearls and layer up my colors just like you would with any type of alcohol inks. Wherever your imagination takes you with this, just let it take you there. These cups are meant to be whimsical. They're meant to be fun. So just, just keep that in mind whenever you're painting these cups and doing these cups. They're all just supposed to be fun. Now I am going to be putting these cups up for sale in my shop. I'm probably only going to do 
a couple. I, I don't think I'll have them like permanently in my shop, but if you plan on putting these in your shop, you might want to give yourself just a couple extra dollars because there is a lot of work involved in doing that top portion of the tumbler. I'm just going to finish up building up my colors around the top here until I get it the way that I would like. And then once I am ready to go put the epoxy, another coat of epoxy over the top, I'm going to make sure that I give it a nice coat of spray sealer so that way those alcohol inks don't dissipate when I go to apply the epoxy. Now that that's about the way that I would like it, I'm just gonna come through and I actually kind of touch it up with just a little bit of gold alcohol ink as well. Again, I bought that through Christy Taylor and I'll put her description or her link to her shop in the description below there. I have my last round of epoxy all mixed up here. I'm just gonna do a nice thick stripe along the front. I'm gonna take my gloved hand and I'm just gonna make sure that I bring it all the way up to that rim and just really rub it in around those bubbles very well. Now, once I am done applying my epoxy, I'm gonna place it onto my turner, let that spin for about eight hours. Then I will take it off my turner and let it continue to cure for about two to three days before I ship it out. Whether you take this and try to duplicate it, or you take the idea and let it inspire you to make something completely your own, I hope that you guys had fun watching this tutorial today. Again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time.